if we get what we want, access to China's market, I suppose th that's an unimportant, right? If we had security for Canadian companies doing business in China, I suppose that would make these humiliations worth it, right? Maybe the release of Canadian citizens, like those currently in Chinese prisons for trumped up charges being used as business retaliation. If we got them back, if we got a deal, maybe these humiliations would be worth something. It, it's funny, Trudeau will go to great lengths to bring ISIS terrorists back to Canada, but he won't lift a finger for Canadians in Chinese prisons, really, because they objected to Chinese expropriation of their business or some other fake crime. But we got nothing. We've got nothing for all this obsequiousness. Here's John Iveson in today's National Post. Would it be too cynical to say China just ambushed Trudeau on trade talks? Justin Trudeau arrived in China fully expecting on Monday to announce the launch of formal free trade talks. Chinese Premier Li Keqing wasn't having it. Iveson gives a painful hour-by-hour -hour report of how Trudeau was denied anything and everything that he had asked for substantively. The only thing Trudeau could get the Chinese to agree to say was that conversations would continue. No agreements to anything. No concessions at all. A big bunch of nothing, despite Trudeau practically begging China for years. Trudeau has spent years complying with any whim of China, whitewashing China, submitting to China, while bad-mouthing Donald Trump in America, as if China were more important to Canada. And China just laughed at him, the little potato. But look at how Donald Trump was received when he went to China. Really roll this clip. There's so many moments here. Full state honors. You know, they gave Donald Trump a nickname too, by the way. According to the New York Times, that's a liberal paper, Trump's two nicknames in China are either Donald the Strong or Uncle Donald. Both are very flattering, especially from a Chinese cultural point of view, Donald the Strong. But it's true, wouldn't you say? Like him or not, it's true, isn't it? Could you ever imagine someone calling Trudeau Justin the Strong. No, it's just Justin the male feminist, sure. Justin who makes lots of apologies and cries a lot, sure. But not Justin the Strong. Little Potato is about right. That's an excerpt from my daily TV show, The Ezra Levant Show. Normally it's behind a paywall, but I thought you'd like this video, so we put it on YouTube. Uh, if you want to subscribe to watch The Daily Show every day, including always two interviews a day and I read my hate mail, just click on this screen and become a premium member.